This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with the weather. Well, Dean, the weather looks pretty good across most of the state. Now, we do still have the chance of severe storms across southeastern New Mexico throughout the rest of the night tonight. Tomorrow, fewer chances for storms across the state. We'll go mostly sunny, and into Friday looks pretty good as well. Now, over the weekend, we could well drag in a little bit more moisture from the south, and that could well touch off at least scattered showers in central and eastern sections of the state. This is not as promising as it looked 24 hours ago, but at least we've got a shot at some showers as we head through Saturday and Sunday. Mark, thank you. Officials say they've turned a corner on that little bear fire that has already charred more than 37,000 acres in the Lincoln National Forest. Crews are attacking it from the north and the south ends. It is now 35% contained. Last night, officials said 224 homes are burned, but with another full day of assessing the damage, that number could grow at any time. A family dog brought something home its owner was not expecting a human skull. Gallup police say the beagle likely found it near the city's airport over the weekend. Detectives think it belonged to a man between 35 and 40 years of age and had been there for three years. Police searched the airport area and found more small bones. No word on where they came from. The former director of the Farmington Visitors Bureau embezzled more than half a million dollars before she took her own life. A police audit found 41-year-old Debbie Dusenberry stole $480,000 and spent another 66000 on meals, gas, and hotels for herself. Dusenberry resigned from her position in mid-January. Two weeks later, she was found dead in her car in Arizona. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.